So I'm gonna continue on cutting. This is up against the door trim. This is probably the easiest pl place for you to cut. Um, easier than it is on the ceiling. This is a better 90 degree angle to find. Um, so this is where I would start probably to get used to cutting. Um, same thing, load our brush up, knock it off, go up one way with the brush, held on its side like this. Nice and close. I shouldn't say nice and close. Close, but not too, too close. Just want to knock the paint off and then come back down and find a nice line. Doesn't have to be perfect on your first try. You can see what I'm doing there. Just come back and do it again. No need to reload. And then I want to leave myself at least three inches, probably even four, um, just so I don't have to be very careful with the roller. Uh, the way I'm doing it too, you can see I'm, I'm doing it so I don't have to come back to the cutting. I'm doing one pass and that's all I need to do. So that's it for that part of the cutting. Now let me show you something I'm doing here. I didn't do this for the rest of the room, but again, my cutting against the baseboards isn't very good either. So I'm just trying this to see how it would look. Um, what I did was I just used a green painter's tape, just the store brand, I don't have to buy the really expensive 3M stuff. <clears throat> Found a nice line, tried to find a nice line, push it down nice and tight against the baseboard. Okay. These baseboards tend to fall off, so it's a hard, hard line to paint and it's pretty uncomfortable to get down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my caulking. <clears throat> I have some water and a sponge with me. And all I'm going to do, again, nice thin line as possible. I can use my finger, get it in the corner. And that's all I'm doing. And now I'm going to take the sponge because we don't want a lot of caulking on the paint. We don't want to see a line when we're all done. A wet sponge. And that's it for that step. So we're going to finish this off and then I'm going to cut in. When I do cut in, what I'm going to do is um, not, is, even though I have tape and caulking, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna try to be very careful. I'm not gonna have a ton of paint on here. But what I'm gonna do, paint it, um, let this dry maybe for a half an hour or so, paint it and then pull the tape and that stuff is done.